Hello, I'm Frank Conforti with Bentley Systems. In the last Luminar T video of the series, you learned how to place and animate objects in our tropical resort. This time, we'll learn how to create a short video using Luminar T's movie making tools. To make this interesting, we'll be simulating a drone flying above and around the resort. To begin our movie making journey, we need to choose the starting point of the video. For our drone, the most obvious place is to launch it just in front of the hotel. Once in the air, we'll get a nice bird's eye view of the area and gain some familiarity with the movie making process. We'll be visiting several locations on the island as a series of snapshots, better known as keyframes. So let's get started. We zoom in on the walkway just outside the hotel's entrance. We face the building using the navigation keys and select the movie editor icon from the left side toolbox. At the bottom edge of the Luminar T window, the movie editor timeline, film strip, and tools appear. This is not going to be an in-depth tutorial, so we're not going to spend time going through each and every tool and its function. Luminar T uses the keyframe animation method where we navigate to each location we want the animation to fly through and take a picture of that point. We do this at several locations in our scene. In order to do this, we need to move to each location in a specific order, orient our view for what we want to see at that point, then take a snapshot of the view. This is fundamental to the keyframe animation method. Later, we'll set the time it takes to go from keyframe to keyframe where we let the software fill in the individual video frames between each keyframe. Back to shooting our movie. With the drone on the ground in front of the hotel, we click the Add a Movie Clip icon. A snapshot appears in the Movie Maker film strip, the starting keyframe of our movie sequence. Next, we'll fly straight up using the Page Up key. With a view of the trees and the ocean behind the hotel, we click Add Another Keyframe. A second snapshot appears next to the first one in the movie strip at the bottom of the app window. Before we move to the next point, we'll rotate the drone towards the trees on the right side of the hotel using the K and or L keys on the keyboard. And take another snapshot. By staying in the same location and rotating the view, we've created a camera pan effect. With our drone facing the trees, We'll fly a short distance over them using the up arrow key. We may have to adjust the altitude a bit to stay above the trees. We use the page up key to do this. Conversely, the page down key reduces the altitude. At our new location, we add another snapshot to the movie strip. We perform another pan to point the camera towards the beach and boat dock by rotating the camera using the L key. We can now clearly see the boats and beach and we add another keyframe. Continuing, we move towards the beach by the boats using the up arrow. This time, however, we want to get up close to the dock and the boats, so we'll use a combination of navigation keys to get the right view. We add another snapshot. By now you know the drill. Snapshot, move, snapshot, move, etc. To close out our flight, we'll get a nice shot of the hotel and pool area. Once again, we pan around from our current location and take a snapshot. Now we move forward and upward to center the hotel and pool for our next keyframe. and we take another snapshot. And we take another snapshot. And finally, we fly back to our drone launch location.
and we take another snapshot. And we take our final snapshot. That's it. We now have the keyframes we need to put together our brief tour of the resort. Before we start the final editing of the movie, let's play what we've got. Note how the playhead on the timeline above the film strip moves in sync with the video. Now that we've watched our rough cut, we need to adjust some of the parameters associated with this movie to get the results we want. We can grab the playhead to take the video to any point in the timeline. There are also familiar controls on the left side of the app to navigate through the timeline. As we move the playhead between each keyframe, which are identified as small squares underneath the timeline, we can instantly see how Luminar T interpolated the motion between the keyframes. The time spent flying between each keyframe is indicated by the arrow between each adjacent keyframe. This is what we adjust to give the movie the right timing. We want to set the number of seconds it takes to go from keyframe to keyframe. This span of time is adjusted between each keyframe by clicking on the arrow between the keyframe pairs and directly entering the number of seconds we want to elapse between the selected keyframes. By setting the value in the arrow, we can precisely control each motion segment, in this case, moving the drone straight up above the building in two seconds flat. Let's play the first bit of the video to see this effect. Now we go through and adjust the timing of each motion segment to give a nice feel to the video. Setting the timing for the keyframes is an iterative process, so let's watch. Okay, we now have our video timing down. but it looks kind of weird the way we fly from point to point without stopping. What we need is to pause the camera's motion for a few moments at key points to enjoy the view such as the animated sailboat. This is done by setting a time delay on select keyframes. For the sailboat shot, we locate the keyframe with the sailboat in its view. And in the lower right corner of the keyframe, we click on the clock icon and set it to 10 seconds more than enough time to watch the boat as it cruises by. Let's complete this movie. We click the Actions icon to the right of the timeline, then select Export Clip. As you can see, there are a lot of options to choose from. For our purposes, we'll use the default options, which is a 720p resolution video created on a computer's desktop with standard quality. We click OK to start the movie creation process. Luminar T now begins to render each frame on screen as we watch. This is going to take a while. 
and the movie is complete and ready to watch. So let's watch it. There's a lot more to refining the video, such as adding in more keyframes, rearranging them, and other functions outside the scope of this introduction. Exploring each option is a good way to learn their function. Movies are definitely fun to make, but you might want to keep it to yourself. Thank you, and see you next time.